Samsung Galaxy A8 is a mid-range smartphone that was recently announced. It looks like a flagship and it has a lot of premium features. In this video, I wanted to compare it with almost one year old Samsung Galaxy S8. I know, I know, a lot of people will say that this comparison is not fair but I'm not implying the fact that the A8 is a better phone. I just wanted to show you guys the similarities and the differences so you can make a better buying decision. My name is Linus with the Techline HD, stay tuned. First of all, the price. The Galaxy A8 costs about 500 euros, depending on the region. I have an international version of the Galaxy S8 that has Exynos chip and it still costs at least 100 or even 200 euros more, depending on where you buy it from. I'm not talking about any refurbished grey market or second-hand phones that are cheaper. In terms of the design, the Galaxy A8 is a bit thicker, larger and heavier than the S8. Also, it has larger bezels that go around the Infinity display. However, in the hand, the Galaxy A8 feels more sturdy and substantial to me. It just feels that it can crush the S8, but the latter phone is more comfortable to hold in one hand since it is slightly narrower. When it comes to the display quality, the Galaxy S8 is just better. Its panel is more vibrant, it has better contrast and higher resolution. The AMOLED screen of the A8 is still very good as it's nice and sharp display overall. Selfie camera department is where the Galaxy A8 has an advantage, well at least on paper. It has two sensors that let you take pictures with that bokeh effect. Also the Galaxy A8 has more megapixels to play with but it lacks a few features that S8 has, optical image stabilization and super fast dual pixel focusing system. Well, at least it has electronic image stabilization, that works pretty well. Now a few features that make the S8 better, or at least different. It has wireless charging, there is a heart rate sensor, a home button that is integrated under the display, and a dedicated Bixby voice assistant button, whether you like it or not. Why the Galaxy A8 is better or different? Well, it has a dual SIM card slot and a dedicated microSD card slot for storage expansion. In my opinion, this is a feature that Samsung flagships must have. Also, the loudspeaker is placed on the right side, meaning that you will not cover it up accidentally while gaming or simply using the phone. That loudspeaker is also better and significantly louder than the one found on the Galaxy S8. Here's the audio sample. Both phones have face unlock feature, which is equally unreliable. What is reliable on each phone is a fingerprint scanner, but the Galaxy A8 finally has it in the right place. After using the Galaxy S8 for almost a year, I still find the placement of the fingerprint sensor inconvenient and I always smudge the camera lens. Both phones have always on display feature which is really handy and finally the devices are water and dust resistant which is a must feature on any phone. When it comes to hardware, the Galaxy S8 is still a more powerful phone since it's Samsung's flagship after all. Naturally it can handle absolutely everything you throw at it including graphically intensive 3D games. The Galaxy A8 is no slouch either, despite mid-range level specifications. I've even made a dedicated gaming review to show you guys how great of a performer it is when it comes to handling 3D games. Well, there may be just a few skipped frames in some games but there is no serious stutter or lag you need to worry about. Still, it can't beat the Galaxy S8 as the graphics look better on it and there are no skipped frames in any games. This is still a Samsung's flagship phone after all. The Galaxy A8 runs on Android 7.1 while my Galaxy S8 is still stuck at Android 7.0. I know that Android 8 update is just around the corner but I wish Samsung updated their phones faster. 
I've used the Galaxy S8 for almost a year and I can tell you that this is the fastest Samsung phone ever, along with the Note 8. My point is that it did not slow down like previous generation Galaxy phones, for example, the Galaxy S7 Edge that I also used for a year. The Galaxy S8 feels almost like the S8 in terms of the overall speed and fluidity and that is really impressive, especially given all the features and customization options it has. I've covered most of them in the full review so make sure to check that video out. In terms of the image quality, the Galaxy A8 tends to take warmer looking images most of the time, as the camera's software probably uses a different auto white balance algorithm, but this is just my guess. The Galaxy S8 takes pictures with more detail and better dynamic range, but overall, the Galaxy A8 also performs really well in daylight. Naturally, the Galaxy S8 is better in low light thanks to optical image stabilization and better image processing but again, the Galaxy A8 can also take very good pictures for a mid-range level phone. I found selfies to be sharper and more detailed on the S8. However, the Galaxy A8 excels here as it can take beautiful looking pictures with nicely blurred background thanks to the secondary camera sensor. I'm recording a video with the Samsung Galaxy S8, which is still the company's flagship. The Galaxy S8 can shoot better looking videos. In this comparison, I shot the video in 1080p but obviously this phone can shoot in 4K, whereas the Galaxy A8 cannot. The main issue on the Galaxy A8 is that the continuous autofocus is jumping like crazy. Hopefully this will be fixed with the future software updates. I'm recording a video with the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm using front firing camera and the reason for this video is because I'm comparing the quality of footage with a brand new Samsung Galaxy A8. The Galaxy S8 can shoot videos in 2K resolution, whereas the Galaxy A8 tops out at 1080p video with a front facing camera. Naturally, the videos on the Galaxy S8 look better and this camera also has autofocus feature in comparison to fixed focus system found on the Galaxy A8. Finally, the sound recording quality is slightly better on the S8. The video would look like handheld if you're just walking and use the phone for video chats, for Skype or whatever. In terms of connectivity, both galaxies are just excellent. Call quality and signal reception are really good, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and NFC work fine. Both phones have quite a few sensors including a gyroscope, meaning that they are both compatible with VR headsets and 360 content. I'm really happy that the battery life is just great on the Samsung Galaxy A8. Your mileage may vary, but under my usage, I was able to get about 9 hours of screen on time, which is a very good result. There is no wireless charging, but the supplied fast charger will fully charge the phone in about 1 hour and 30 minutes. I have an international dual SIM model of the Galaxy S8 and the battery life is not that great. I could get just about 4 hours of screen on time but keep in mind that I have plenty of apps installed. The Galaxy S8 supports wireless charging, which is a nice feature to have. It takes the same amount of time to fully charge the phone as the Galaxy A8, about 1.5 hours if you use the supplied fast charger. So there we have it, the Samsung Galaxy A8 versus the Samsung Galaxy S8. Obviously the S8 is a better phone overall since it has better specs, better display and cameras. Also it has a few extra features the Galaxy A8 lacks like wireless charging, under the glass home button and a heart rate sensor. However, the Galaxy A8 is cheaper, but it looks and feels just as premium as the S8. The phone's display is also very good, the overall performance is excellent despite mid-range level specs and the quality of cameras is one of the best in this price range. In fact, the Galaxy A8 is better than the Galaxy S8 in some departments because it has a dedicated micro SD card slot and a better loudspeaker that is more conveniently placed on the right side of the phone. 
The A8 also has two selfie cameras that can take pictures with that nice bokeh effect. A fingerprint scanner is placed under the camera, not next to the lens like on the S8. Finally, the Galaxy A8 has a significantly better battery life. At the end of the day, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is still a better phone overall, but the Galaxy A8 is cheaper, it is comparable with the S8 in many areas, it has quite a few features the Galaxy S8 lacks, and finally it is even better in some departments. But what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy A8 versus the Samsung Galaxy S8? Drop me a comment down below and as always like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. It was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.